Welcome to Honors Geometry, Lesson 4.1. Uh, we're going to be talking about triangles and the triangle sum theorem this section. And later on, we're going to talk about uh, proving triangles congruent. But right now, let's get at triangles. If you want to classify triangles by sides, you can say a scalene triangle, an isosceles triangle, and an equilateral triangle. Okay, what are those? Hopefully you know what these are already, but just in case you don't, there they are. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at those. You can pause this video anytime you want. I'm moving on. That's classifying triangles looking at the sides. Another way to classify triangles is by looking at the angles. An acute triangle, a right triangle, an obtuse triangle, and an equiangular triangle. And there uh, is the definition of uh, the, those four triangles. You can pause and write if you uh, don't know what those are. I'm going to move on. And actually, I am going to move on to the triangle sum theorem. All right, there is method to the madness of what we learned to the parallel lines first because it helps us prove the triangle sum theorem. First of all, I want you to look at that picture and look at the four ang three angles up at the top. And I want you to tell me what the measure of angle four plus the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle five. What is the sum of those three angles? Dun, 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 dun. Well, since this is a straight angle, yes, that has to equal 180 degrees using actually the angle addition postulate. Yes. And then would you not agree with me, since these lines are parallel up here, that angle 5 is congruent to angle 3? Would you not agree with me on that, the alternate uh, interior angle converse, 3 and 5? So that makes the measure of angle 5 equal to the measure of angle 3, definition of congruent angles. Oh yeah, sorry about that. This was the alternate interior angle theorem. And for the same reason, would you not agree with me that angle 4 is congruent to angle 2 using the alternate interior angle theorem? I'm glad you did agree with me on that. So that makes the measure of angle 4 equal the measure of angle 2 because the definition of congruent angles. If you know they're congruent, then you can say that their measures are equal. All right, let me get a different color here for just a second. All right, 4, 5. five and three, four and two. Let's do some super mass substitution using those three lines. Instead of measure of four, I'm gonna write what four is equal to. Measure of angle two plus the measure of angle one plus, instead of measure five, what does measure five equal? Measure three. And that is triple mass substitution. No, that's only double mass substitution. Or you could just say it's substitution. Whatever. Okay, what did we just prove? If we go back and look at it, the measure of two plus the measure of one plus the measure of three equals 180. We just proved that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. Okay, 
That is the triangle sum theorem that the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. And if you don't believe me, right here, triangle sum theorem, dun da da da. The sum of the three angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. So let's have some fun with that. Okay? What's your equation here? Sure. X plus 90 plus 32 equals 180. I'll leave that uh, to yourself to uh, solve. Let's go ahead and move on to the next triangle. What's your equation? Sure. Y minus 11 plus 2Y plus 24 whoops plus 32 equals 180. You betcha. And the last one here. Uh oh, what are you going to do with that? Well, first of all, you need to, well, you could just do this. 47 plus 47 plus y plus 2 equals 180, right? How did you know that these two angles are congruent? Because of the arc marks tell you that those two angles are congruent. So if that's 47, that's 47. Plus the y plus 2 equals 180. That will be the equation to solve for y. And then the x angle, well x minus 7 equals 47. Alright, let's move on to the next theorem. Yes, there's another theorem in this section. Alright, let's see here. What did we just learn? What was this theorem we just learned? We just learned that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 that would be the triangle sum theorem. And what did we know before by looking at angles 4 and 2? Well, you should have said that the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 180 using uh, the linear pair postulate and the angle addition postulate. That's a combination of two statements at once. Sorry about shoving that all together. Hey, I see two things that equal 180. Do you? Well, that means that those two things must be equal to each other. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals the measure of angle 4 plus the measure of angle 2 and I will not be able to write this in all caps over here in the corner I don't think but I'll try yes substitution close enough hey do you see any terms on both sides of that equation that are the same sure I do too I see that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 equals the measure of angle 4 using the subtraction property of equality. Alright, so what does that say? It's a new theorem. It's called the exterior angle theorem. Angle 4 is an exterior angle because it's outside the triangle when one of the sides is um, lengthened out or extended. The exterior angle theorem says the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interiors. What does that mean? That means that angle 2 is an adjacent angle to angle 4. It's an interior angle but it's it's not remote, it's adjacent. 1 and 3 are not adjacent. That means remote. So 4 equals 1 plus 3 in more ways than 1. Again, that is the exterior, exterior angle theorem. The measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interiors. Okay, let's mess around with some numbers with these. Alright. Using the linear pair postulate, you should be able to figure out what y is, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, 
y plus 11 d1 equals 180, right? But you should also be able to find x now. Here it is. No, that's not what I mean. You should be able to say that exterior angle equals the sum of the two remote interiors. Boom, just like that. And you should be able to figure out x. Fairly easy as well. Let's try another one. All right. Here's the exterior angle, 2z plus 1. Here are the two remote interiors. 2z plus 1 equals the sum of the two remote interiors. There's your equation. Go ahead and solve it. And I'm going to move on. A corollary. A corollary is a theorem easily proved from another theorem. And we have two corollaries from the triangle sum theorem. The first corollary makes a lot of sense, I think. The measure of each angle of an equiangular triangle is 60 degrees. See, we've now learned that the sum of the three angles is 180. So if it's equiangular, divide that 180 by 3 and you get each angle of an equiangular triangle 60 degrees. And the second one is just as easy. The acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. Well, if it's a right triangle, it has one right angle. So that leaves a sum of 90 for the other two angles. Sure sounds like complementary to me. And I do believe that we are done for the day. This will conclude uh, Honors Geometry Lesson 4.1 uh, the triangle sum theorem, and introduction to triangles. Thank you, and goodbye.